Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very exciting video of number theory challenging equations, we will be solving one interesting Diophantine equation x square plus y square equal to x plus y plus 2 given x y integers. That means x may be negative, positive, including 0. Okay, so rule states that if in equation we are having x square plus minus x form then we have to multiply both sides by 4. Now question arises y. Okay, let's find out the answer of y. Let me multiply both sides by 4 first. Okay, let me expand 4x square plus 4y square equal to 4x plus 4y plus 8. Take all the variable terms to LHS. So I will write 4x square minus 4x then 4y square minus 4y and after some gap I will write 8. Okay. Now see, I will write the very first term which is 4x square. I can see this term as 2x whole square minus this, terms, this term as 4x as 2 times 2x. So what is missing? It is missing only 1 square is missing. That means I have to add 1, add 1 to both the equation means variables. So once we have added 2 to LHS, I need to add 2 to RHS also. Okay. So how we can write? I can write first as 2x minus 1 whole square and the last three terms as 2y minus 1 whole square equal to 10. Now keeping one thing in our mind, our x, y is integer. So if I am considering this as p, only try to understand this thing. How many cases are possible? Let me write here p and q. How many cases can be possible? So we can consider how many cases would be there? There would be 11 cases. See how it is. 0, 10 and then 1, 9, 2, 8. 3, 7, like this, up to which point we will take up last, second, third last is 8, 2, second last is 9, 1, and last one is 10, 0. You can see it is 1, 2, 9, 9, and 0, 10, 10, 0. So 11 cases are there. Out of these 11 cases, immediately we can cancel because P is a square of number. So if it is a square of number, so we will identify number is square. That means we can hold, let me write this one also, 4, 6 and here it is 6, 4. This I will reject immediately because q, if q is 10, then 2y minus 1 would be square root 10. So it won't give us. So what I am going to consider, 1, 9 will be accepted, 9, 1 will be accepted, any other combination. This may possible, but because of 6, we will reject this also. Okay, the rest you can see, root 3, root 7, root 2, root 8, root 2, root 8. So, only accepted cases are 1, 9 and 9, 1 out of 11 possible cases. Okay, 5, 5 is there in between, that is root 5, root 5, that is also rejected. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and then 10 and 0 is there. So 0, 10 is also rejected. So what we are going to write here finally, 2x minus 1 whole square, that must be 1, this is first case and at the same time 2y minus 1 whole square equal to 9. Okay. 2x minus 1 that would be equal to plus minus 1 and 2y minus 1 
it should be equal to plus minus 3. Similarly, because equation is symmetrical, we can write the cross equation also, means the order of variable we will change. So I will write 2x minus 1 equal to plus minus 3 and 2y minus 1 we will write plus minus 1. So these are two sets basically, we have to solve this one. So let's consider one by one. Let me call this is my set one and this is set two. So I will write here set one, two x minus one equal to plus minus one. Similarly, two y minus one equal to plus minus three. Okay, take away, add one to both sides, not take away. So I will write plus minus one plus one. So 2x will become plus plus 2 minus 1 plus 1, 0. Divide both sides by 2. So it will become 1, 0. Now come to second equation. 2y that would be equal to plus minus 3 plus 1. Add 1 to both sides. Okay. Next step we can write plus 3 plus 1 plus 4 minus 3 plus 1 minus 2 divide both sides by 2 so i will have 2 and negative 1 now combinations are straight away clear i will write 1 2 let me write x first ordered pair 1 2 then i will write 1 minus 1 then i will write 0 2 then i will write 0 minus 1 okay now consider second set. So I will write 2x minus 1 is equal to plus minus 3. I am not going to solve. I will write only the main equation. 2y minus 1 equal to plus minus 1. So this way you will collect. Let me write here the combination possible. That would be 2, 1, the reverse order. Minus 1, 1. And then I will get 2, 0. Then I will get last combination negative 1, 0. This order will be reverse order because equations are symmetrical. Okay. Now let's verify our result. Let's verify all the values. Few values we can verify. So let's consider first case 1, 2. So let me write here verification. Let me consider 1, 2. Okay. Uh, equation we have to consider 2x minus 1 whole square plus 2y minus 1 whole square. Either we can consider that one and this one also. No problem because that is same. Okay. We can consider this equation itself. Both are same. 1 plus 4 it should be 1 plus 2 plus 2 verified 5 equal to 5 second combination 1 comma negative 1 so where i am putting here in this equation 1 is square 1 1 1 minus 1 plus 2 so that will be cancelled out 2 equal to 2 verified this way we can verify let me write here 5 equal to 5 also Third combination 0, 2. Only 4 we can verify because otherwise other 4 is the replic means opposite order. So 0, 2 if I will write 0 square is 0, 4. 2 square is 4. 0 plus 2 plus 2. 4 equal to 4. Verified. Last of first set is 0, negative 1. So let's put the value 0 plus negative 1 is square 1, 0, negative 1 plus 2. So 1 equal to 1, it is true, so this is true. This is how we can verify the remaining because of it is converse, ordering is only difference. I hope you like this video, thank you so much for watching, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video, good luck.